Broadcasting from the heart of London to your heart. Radio Herald Hill. Hello and welcome along to this It's My Cakes. My name's Annette Gregory and I'm from Radio Herald Hill and I'm interviewing the manager today. Welcome Amanda. Very nice to meet you. And you too. Thank you for having us in your store today. You're welcome. The cakes are very artistic. They're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's find out a little bit about you then. How long have you been here in the shop? Uh, we've been in the shop since February. We had a lot of work to do to get up to standard and since then we've been able to use the space to decorate. Right, okay. And what inspired you into opening a cake shop? Um, I was asked by my sister to make her a cake and um, it went from there. We built, we made cakes, put them on Instagram, a few people commented, started taking orders and um, well, started asking for cakes to be made. Mm. I thought, oh, let me, let me make something out of this and that's where it went from there. Oh, that's brilliant. Some of them are just incredible. My favourite is definitely the one from Beauty and the Beast, the Wilt Wilting Rose. How long did that take to make? It's hard to say how long any particular cake takes to make because we work on a few at a time. Mm -hmm. So we would maybe make part of that one, let that set. While that's setting, we'll move on to another cake, make a part of that and then come back to it. So it could be over a couple of days but not continuously. Right, okay. And let's have the location of your shop. Where are you located? We're at 3 Grange Road. It's in Howard Hill. Right, okay. I've never been here before, so it's lovely. It's very windy today as well, isn't it? So I do yeah. apologise for the background noise. Um, so, what's your favourite cake that you've ever made? Uh, my favourite cake that I've ever made was a barbecue. Okay. What made it my favourite was that they wanted it to light up. So Actually I, light up? Actually light up. Like it was a light. Okay. So... <laughs> I had a look on the internet thinking how am I going to make it glow and um, I found some little lights on strings so we wired, I wired them into the cake, built the cake around the lights so that we could use the switch and turn it on and it would glow. Wow. And before you had the shop, did you, how did you get into making cakes? Um, it was just really my sister asking me to make the cakes right. and um, just having a go and then I found wow I could do this. So you never really had planned to, to be in this kind of business? Definitely not, no. no. Right, okay. And what was your first order you ever had? Can you remember? Um, it was an order from one of my sisters and she asked for a cake with some flowers on the top, roses on the top for a celebration. And that's my, that was my first. So how good does it feel actually owning your own shop? It's a lot of pressure. A lot of early mornings, a lot of late nights, but it's enjoyable, I love it. Mm. And is a lot of your job research based for planning for the cakes you're going to make? Um, yes, because we have people come and ask us for things like twirly moves. I'm like, what's that? What's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> so yeah, I have to go away, look online, see if I can find it. Mm. Sometimes I have to watch the cartoons as well so that we can see what the background would look like or what kind of characters they are and uh, put cakes together from there. So it's a lot of fun then? Sometimes. <laughs> Are you a big team here? Have you got a lot of staff? Uh, no, we're quite a small team at the moment. There's me and we've got two other members of staff as well. And um, we are looking to expand. We want to take on some um, apprenticeships, apprenticeships as well. So that's something we're going to be looking at for 2016. That sounds really good. So watch this space, I guess. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah hopefully onwards and upwards. Um, so I'm not much of a baker. Any tips for me? Um, the biggest tip would have to be practice. Okay. Practice, practice, practice. If it goes wrong, don't give up, try again. Okay. And do you have a favourite filling for the cakes? Um, What's the popular? Is it fruit or um, sponge and jam? Is that the popular one? Everybody loves the vanilla sponge with mm -hmm. vanilla, buttercream and raspberry filling. Mm -hmm. But we've asked for red velvet quite a lot. It's quite fashionable now. Okay. But something that surprises me that people are asking for now is a lemon sponge. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so unusual, isn't it? I'll have to try that and uh, get back to you. Okay then, so um, how long have you lived in the community for? I've lived in Harrod Hill for about 10 years now. Okay, and uh, would you like to see any improvements around here? Um, Are you happy with the community as it is? I love Harrod Hill. <laughs> love Harrod Hill, <laughs> yeah. that's good. And uh, do you do any other products other than um, custom made cakes? Um, still around the cakes, but we do cupcakes as well. Okay. So we will do cupcake towers, cupcakes for birthdays, uh, cupcakes to complement people's cakes as well. Right, okay, that's good. And what would be the process and if someone wanted to get in touch and find out about you making them a cake? They can call us, they can email us, WhatsApp, Instagram, all the social medias, just contact us and we can take it from there. And what is your Instagram and Facebook? Um, our Facebook is It's Mine Cake. 
For Instagram, slightly different, it's my cakes. Right. Where did you get the name from? Because that's really good, isn't it? Because I do feel like that it's mine. That's exactly where it came from. <laughs> right, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. People are like, oh, that's my cake, it's mine. So yeah. I thought, yeah, that's lovely, it's my cakes. That's a really good idea. And uh, do you have any top sellers for cakes? Any ones that keep being repeatedly ordered, or is every cake completely different? Most cakes are completely different. Okay. Some people say, can you make me this cake? They might change something a little bit. Mm. But Minnie Mouse is quite popular. Okay. The little girls. And Frozen, of course. Frozen, yeah. How many Frozen cakes have you made this year? Millions. Is that millions? <laughs> Do you think the Minions is going to take over now? Oh, Star Wars. Oh, I've done quite a few Minions. We've done Batman Minion. We've got Michael Jackson Minion. So, yeah, we've got quite a few of those as well. Have you done the Star Wars one yet? Not yet. No, not yet. I've made a force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, um, is there such a thing as a lower calorie choice cake? No. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> no, it's not anyway. <laughs> no, we tend to stick to the same recipes, mainly because we know they're tried and they're tested, they taste good, and they can cope with the weight of the icing. And we also need a bit of a stronger sponge for when we're carving shapes. Okay. So we will stick to our tried recipes. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, what about for diabetic people? Are you able to offer a diabetic choice cake? Um, we don't offer that at the moment, but that is something we're looking towards okay. being available. Okay then, and uh, have you had any unusual cakes being requested to be made? We have. Um, we was asked to make a baby. <laughs> and it was for a baby shower. So I said, are you sure about this? Because then you have to cut the baby and eat it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I think we should do something different here. Yeah, that's a strange Yeah, that was strange. Did they change their minds? She did. Yeah. <laughs> she hadn't thought that through. We were very lucky to have our own local radio station within the community. How do you feel about that as well? Um, I hadn't heard of um, How to Feel Radio until recently, mm -hmm. more recently. And when I had a look at what you offer, it's quite amazing. There's yeah. something for all the community, so I really recommend that everybody go and have a look. Oh, it's thank quite you. Cool. Yeah. Let's party. Find us online at www.radioheraldhill.co.uk or download the app. Radio Herald Hill.